three games, seven minutes each, one annoyed guy. Welcome to the Manic Mega Drive with the Schnazzy One. Alright, here we go. Welcome. This is the Manic Mega Drive. I'm the Shinazi One. First up on our list, we got ourselves a little bit of some, uh-oh, Dinosaurs for Hire. Alright, uh, this was published by Malibu Interactive, uh, primarily to sell their comic book series, Dinosaurs for Hire. Um, there's probably a good reason why you've never heard of that comic book series, probably because it was not that great. 1993, let's give it a play. By the way, weren't those the most roided out dinosaurs you've ever seen? Alright, gotta hit start, because otherwise it just goes on forever. Tom Mason, apparently very proud of saying, Dinosaurs, guns, this is a great idea. So, we got a couple characters to choose from. First one, obvious Terminator knockoff. Um, Tyrannosaurus in a trench coat. Uh, next one up, we got a Triceratops with what appears to be a Hawaiian shirt. He must be the rowdy one of the bunch. Lots of fun at parties, you know. Lorenzo. Hmm. Hispanic. And then we have Reese. Reese is a very large Triceratops. Yeah, Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I know my science. Stegosaurus with... Well, I guess they all have enormous guns that are entirely too big. Well, let's play as Renjo. He's probably the only one I haven't played as yet. Though I have noticed there is no difference between the control of any of these guys. They all control like ass. Uh-oh. Comes a big old ball dinosaur rolling his way up a dam. Alright, let's play this game. Yeah. Giant dinosaurs. Yeah, and I won. That was easy. Yeah. Oh, that was a great game. That was Dinosaurs for Hire. Um, oh, just kidding. All right. Uh, Pterodactyl comes in to tell us an awful joke about the blast processing. Psych. Anyway, the actual game starts here. Good luck. Moving on. Some game humor there. These fucking tiny little goddamn ninjas. They get right up on you and you know, you think you'd smack them with this enormous gun. No. No, 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 no. They don't think of that. This was 1993. Even though they mastered Contra and made Contra a fun game, they're gonna steal the idea. By the way, this pretty much is more or less a contract. But, done poorly. Very poorly. As you can see by the ninja. Just runs up, kicks me, and runs away. <sighs> Fuck this game! Already about dead. Let's see if I can actually get past the. Fuck the jumping in this game, by the way. Oh, there's a ninja coming. First time I try and get up there. There he goes. Fucking ninja. Oh, god damn this jumping. Okay, well, I'll try it up here. Fuck! God damn it! Alright, alright. God damn this game. God damn these ninjas. God damn everything about this fucking game. Fucking controlled by, like, a goddamn tank. There's no nuance to these controls, and you gotta love how the guns are so fucking huge. 
They extend past where most of your enemies are. Take up so much space on the screen. And all your enemies are tiny. Tiny little people. Ninjas! No. This game definitely puts in a bit of a elaboration. You now, on top of ninjas being able to be pirates, ninjas are also total assholes to dinosaurs. So, put that in your pipe and smoke it, nerds. Oh, oh. Get distracted for five seconds, ninjas everywhere. They just spawn constantly. It is the most frustrating thing. Now the fact that they make it so that an enemy won't pop out until he's just far enough away where you could hit him. Fuck this game, fuck this game, fuck this game! I threw all that effort for a fucking extra shot. And I fall all the way to the fucking ground and die! Oh my god, this game controls like fucking shit. Dinosaurs for hire. If you were a kid in the 90s and got this game, I feel bad for you. Because this is shit. Other than the hilarious joke at the beginning, it, it kind of makes you wish that that was the end of the game. They weren't just fucking with you. Between fucking ninjas who just fucking cheap shot your ass left and right, Fucking A! Look at that! I know, let's have part of the game mechanic be... You are, uh, you, you have enemies who will get in an area where you can't hurt you hurt them, but they can hurt the fuck out of you! Assholes. Oh my god, he's pissing me off. So, there is some minor differences between these characters. His seems to be a balanced sort of mixed. Um, the Tyrannosaurus jumps a little higher, which means I probably should have played as him. And the the Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus just sort of, you know, his thing is that he can take a lot of damage. So there it is. That's the differences. Other than that, they control exactly the same. And this game sucks equally bad, no matter which character you're playing. Let's see if I can even get past- I have not been able to get past this fucking building section. This game is bullshit. I hate levels like this. I'm really concentrating now, you can tell. Pretty much gonna go till this guy's dead. Which probably won't be very much longer. You know, Contra was fair good. This is not at all fair good. Hey look, it's the Chrysler Tower, I think. See, there's no Twin Towers. That's because this game takes place after 9-11. They saw it coming. Look at that! That is... That is bullshit game design at its finest. Game's just fucking cheap. Okay, this is the furthest I think I've ever made it in this game. Hey, I got some health. Maybe we'll let this run a little long. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go down that ladder then. I'm only going further because this is probably the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. Because the controls are just so bloody frustrating. Better play a boss soon. This is... Did I just die? Oh, fuck you, game. If that wasn't a knockoff of the first level Contra boss, okay... Moving on, the next game we got is Mickey Mouse's Castle of Illusion. Um, 
This was actually developed by Sega themselves, and it was a launch title for the Genesis. Um, you can tell by the box art. It, you know, this is one of those things that when I was a kid, everyone was like, well, but it's got Castle of Illusion with Disney. It's such a good game. I beg to disagree. Um, Once Upon a Mouse. So, here's Minnie and Mickey. They're getting freaky. Um, and this is how they do it. But apparently the plot is that there is an evil witch who's apparently jealous of how pretty it is to wear a bow, look like Mickey Mouse, and also have a dress. Um, so, uh, one day the witch comes, breaks them up, and their stupid crap says, I'm sick of seeing this shit. Magic take. And, uh, Mickey's like, fuck. I got something to do now, at least. And it takes too long. Okay, and these are graphics. This was meant to blow your mind in 1990. Hurry before Miserabelle. How about that as a, as a name, Miserabelle? uses her powers to make herself look like Minnie. Make Minnie look evil like her. I really don't think there'd be much of a difference, but go on. Let's find the seven gems of the rainbow, and they will give you, oh god, pretty much like every other fucking game in the world. So what pisses me off is the fact that he so easily jumps on three guys, and jumping on people is nowhere near that easy in this game. They show you the mechanic like you're going to be doing it all the time. You should not do that. You have to hit them with pinpoint precision. How cute he is. Aw, he can't sit still. Blast is hard. Oh, Mickey. You're so charming. So, the best tactic for this game seems to be just completely avoiding getting anywhere near an enemy. Because you have limited ammo, you can throw things at them. Good luck trying to jump on them. It never fucking works for me. Except for there, off chance. And yeah, there's that's when I needed to jump on that. Thank you. Some of the design concepts for this game are fucking mystifying. Can't kill that, but it can hurt you. waste some apples on that shit. Just because I don't want to deal with it. Oh boy. This game is, you know, Mickey moves so slow. I want to go so much faster. Oh, and Mickey's dead. That was... At least I made it through on one life. Maybe I'll actually get to a freaking boss fight. You know, I've done that a few times. Holy Indiana Jones, Batman! Oh, and I ran right into it! Well, at least it didn't kill me or anything. Giant apple. <coughs> Sorry if any of you are afraid of spiders. That is just terrifying, them spiders. I can't believe those are enemies. It seems like they should just be something to be, you know, adding to the charm level. Oh, look at the cute little detail. Okay. I don't have much power. Hopefully I can make it. This is far more difficult than you would see. Ooh, ooh. Oh, fuck you. Alright, I made it. Where is the level at? Uh oh. Shit going down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 
Those look like bad people. There's something I have- oh, okay, you hit down to jump on them. That is what I've been doing wrong all along. Now I'm getting this. Now I'm getting this. Shame we're almost done. Almost hit the seven minute mark here. Look at all the shit up there. Yeah! Ah, I can't get it. So apparently ghosts are just platforms to my Nikki. Uh oh. Better no! Now, we should end it here, because the next game... We're going to move into NC-17 territory, boys and girls, because next up is something called Divine Ceiling. You might notice that this game has some unusual box art. That doesn't look like the average Genesis box art. reason why is this was only in Japan. Um, why was it only in Japan? Why does it have a box art that even compared to Japanese is strange? Well, because, long story short, it's a board game. So, here's the basic idea. Make detailed uh, art. And then make a terrible fucking shooter. Make you have to play through the per terrible fucking shooter. And maybe you'll get to see some tits. There's an awful lot of text. God knows I can't read Japanese. I don't know what the story is. There is a lot of buttons on this console. It made me worry initially that this was going to be a complex game. Which it is not. At all. At all. Oh. Look at them pretty blue hair and generic anime style shirts and clothes. Please, go shoot lasers at things. Blow them up. If you do it, maybe I'll take my clothes off. Really? Yeah! Okay. Meanwhile, on Earth. I'm gonna shoot some lasers at some shit because I want to see titties. Boop, 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 boop. So, this is a terrible, terrible bullet hell game. If it can even be described as such. Um, this is a vertical shooter that contains none of the things that make vertical shooters fun or unique. Um... Basically, they just made sprites for the enemies. Said, okay, hold down A and shoot shit. And that was it. That is it. That is all there is to this game. Yeah, one hit kills, but seeing as you pretty much got non-stop bullets going on here, this game ain't hard. I'm getting shot up a lot more than the last few times I've tried it out. By the way, playing games a little bit before I get into them now, so I don't suck as bad as I did in, per se, Desert Storm, where I drove around in the ocean for a while. This game's so easy, I can tell you about other games I've played while I'm playing it. Woo! I think that means I got a guy. Oh, oh! These things home in on you, and they blow you up, too. I don't understand what these noises... The noises almost seem to happen at random. I'm not sure at what point you can hurt them and what time... I hear an armor noise. Seems like it would indicate that you can't hit something, but I've never seen something that... it Maybe it takes two hits. The first hit is a metal noise. And then you can blow them up. Okay, so here's the first boss. So most bosses on the Genesis games, if you hit it in the right spot... It will flash to indicate that is the place you were supposed to hit it. This game, on the other hand, takes the thing of just make a terrible noise. And make you have to listen to that terrible noise. It makes you almost not want to beat the boss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I lost. Oh, man. We gotta get some boobs here. Otherwise, this, this show does not pay off. Oh, fuck. Come on. We're gonna see some anime boobs yet. Don't you worry, fine viewers. 
just had to play through a whole bunch of boring, stupid enemies, so... How about them water graphics, huh? Isn't that enough to make you kind of a little bit nauseous to look at it? I mean, theoretically, I can just stay in one place and hold down the A button, and most times I'm gonna make it out just fine. Unless they move at some weird angle. Um, I'm just gonna hold down the button right now and see how long I go until I explode. Uh oh. Those guys. Those guys come in a weird... Oh, hey, I got a life! Happy noise. I was barely doing anything. I can just... You do. I guess this game was originally made with one hand playing in mine. hi oh Oh! <laughs> oh, man. This is so boring. At least I got four lives. I should be able to make it with that. The boss is crazy hard for how stupid and slow he is. Here we go. Hey, look, I got behind lasers, too. I'm gonna get behind him. Hey, that works. Oh, fuck. I don't even know what the hell that noise meant. Oh, fuck you. Ah, you son of a bitch, boss. Why was you so easy before? Got him. Got him. Oh, thank goodness. Minutes to spare. So let's see what kind of kind of video game form there was once upon a time. Hey, how's it going? I saw you blew up that robot. Kind of makes me a little hot. Huh? Well, I guess I'll get naked. But first, I'm gonna talk considerably more than you want to listen. Oh no! My shirt! You'll notice that the bottom tiles don't come up until you hit the A button. I don't think I need- Oh! Yep. <laughs> it only gives you a little bit of time. Oh no! My shirt! My nipples be cold! Whatever will I do? Can I borrow a shirt? This is embarrassing! I don't even know how that shirt came off, it was so surprising! And blah 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 blah! Whoop! Oh, oh, Genesis nipple! Woo! Doo doo doo! I think we're gonna censor that with some kitties. Kitty! Cause it gets a little more risque after this point. And oh my, we have an ass shot, boys and girls. A little bit of nipple. Put a kitty there. Oh my. My poor body. I'm so naked. What will happen? Hey. Wanna see something sexy? Cause in five seconds I'm gonna be ba ba ba. Boom. Full on nudity. Kitty there, kitty there, kitty there. Okay, there we go. That's legit. By the way, she has no vagina. So, you know. She's not even a real woman. I guess you can make that justification. She is a Genesis doodle. The unpleasant part is thinking of a fat, sweaty Japanese person masturbating to this. Um, well, there it is. That was Divine Intervention. The rest of these levels are pretty much the same. No, I am not playing it all the way through. This game sucks. Um, it is the least competent shooter I've ever played. Um, as you saw, I beat most of that level just holding down the A button. This is not worth playing. Not at all. Not in the era of videos on the internet. Well, there's another episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was the Manic Mega Drive. Thanks for watching. See? Nice little tidbit for that person who stayed by and watched the whole thing. Thank you. All right. Well, see you next time. Hope you guys tune in. Peace out.